In this video, I'm going to have a look at updating the firmware of the trusted platform module in a Dell Optiplex 7050. So if I power up the Dell Optiplex 7050 and press F2 to get to the UFI BI setup, I see I've got a TPM 2.0. So now I'm going to log in to Windows and I'm signed in with a Microsoft account and it's got Windows 10 Pro pre-installed. So this means that BitLocker is enabled by default and my NVMe solid state drive is encrypted by default. So if I right click the start button and select Windows PowerShell Admin, I can type in get TPM and I can see as part of the encryption that the TPM is enabled and it's associated with BitLocker and my Microsoft account. Okay, so I'm going to go to Dell Drivers and Downloads and I'm going to select Optiplex 7050. And I'm going to select Windows 10 64 bit and I'm going to select the security category. I noticed that there's two firmware updates. There's TPM 2.0 and TPM 1.2. So it's an either or. If you install the 1.2 update, it will switch your TPM from 2.0 to 1.2, giving the latest version of 1.2. If you install 2.0, it will update to the latest version of 2.0. So when I launch this, it tells me that TPM 2.0 is installed and it will upgrade it or realistically downgrade it to TPM 1.2. So when you try and launch these firmware updates, you may be informed that the TPM is owned. So what I'm going to do is right click the start button to get to the power users menu and I'm going to type in disable TPM auto provisioning. So what this does when the operating system reboots is that it won't automatically take ownership of the TPM like it normally will. And now when I actually power up and try and log in, it's going to ask me for a BitLocker recovery key. So in order to get this, I'm going to need another device such as a phone and I'm going to need to log into my Microsoft account. So I'm also going to power up the Dell and press F2 to get to UFI by setup and select TPM 2.0 security and clear the TPM. Now I'm going to exit the Dell UFI by setup and it should boot as normally, but instead of reaching the login screen, I'm going to be asked for the BitLocker recovery key. Okay, so I'll just switch to my other computer and log into Outlook. And then I'm going to select my Microsoft account. And then under devices, I'm going to select my Optiplex 7050. And I'm going to have a look for the key ID, which was C01, C0254. And then I've got this very long BitLocker recovery key that I need to input. Okay, so going back to my Optiplex 7050, I can input this BitLocker recovery key. So now that the TPM is an auto provisioned, I can go ahead and install the firmware update. Now, I'd advise just installing the firmware update for the 2.0. I'm actually going to install the firmware update for 1.2 to show you what happens when you downgrade. So if I select OK, and then OK to confirm, then I'm going to downgrade from TPM 2.0 to TPM 1.2. So I'll be informed that I may need to enter the BitLocker recovery key again. 
So I'm just going to select no and I'll input this next time I log on to my Microsoft account. So what this is going to do is downgrade my TPM from 2.0 to 1.2, which is used for legacy security applications. And this is a firmware update. So it's essentially like part of the BIOS update and it updates the TPM firmware. So the computer will restart and it'll update within BIOS. Now, if I press F2 to get to the Dell UFI BIOS setup, notice that TPM 2.0 security no longer shows and instead I've got the legacy TPM 1.2 security. And as I said before, when I try and log in, I'll be prompted for the BitLocker recovery key. So I'll input it again, and then I can log into my Microsoft account. Okay, so if I type in get TPM now, I'll see that it's TPM 1.2. And we see that the um, version is 5.81. Okay, so I want to update the firmware to 2.0, the latest version of 2.0. So I'm going to select OK, OK. And once again, I'll be prompted to input the BitLocker recovery key. So it will restart and update the firmware within the BIOS. Once again, I'll need to input this BitLocker recovery key. And if I open up the Windows PowerShell admin and type in get TPM, sometimes you'll see that TPM ready is false. And the reason for this is that the TPM may not be enabled in the Dell UFI by setup. So let's enable the TPM auto provisioning. And let's just shut down and re-enter the Dell UFI by setup by powering up and pressing F2. So if I go to TPM 2.0 security, so it's firmware is updated back to 2.0, I see that the TPM was disabled. So let's enable it and now let's clear it. Okay, so once again, I'm going to be asked for the BitLocker recovery key. So I'll input this. And now when I log in, I'm just going to enable the TPM auto provisioning now that the TPM is enabled. So now I'm going to restart and I'll be asked to enter the BitLocker recovery key once again. And now, if I type in get TPM, it should be ready and it should be owned. So now if I restart my computer, I should just log in as normal. I shouldn't be prompted for a bit locker recovery key again. Okay, so sadly that was a lot more involved than I expected it to be. And one of the things that I expected to work didn't work. So I expected to be able to update the firmware using the Dell UFI BIOS boot menu from a USB flash drive. So I've already made a Windows 10 USB and I've got the latest TPM firmware on it as well as the Dell UFI BIOS update. So Dell seemed to have 
done pretty good work when it comes to the Dell UFI BIOS updates and pressing F12 and then selecting BIOS flash update. So sadly this doesn't work with the TPM 2.0 firmware update as it's not recognized by the Dell UFI BIOS boot menu when you select BIOS update. In some other newer systems, there's also the Dell Dock firmware update, which also isn't recognized here, and it would be a sensible place for it to be recognized so you could update the TPM firmware and the Thunderbolt Dock firmware in the same place. So you see that the firmware update isn't recognized, but the BIOS update is.